Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to list products from Alibaba to Shopify in 2023. So today we're diving into the world of course of e-commerce sourcing and listing, focusing on how to seamlessly list products from Alibaba to your Shopify store. So if you're ready to expand your product offering, stick around and I'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of listing products from Alibaba to your Shopify store in 2023. So make sure to stick by and let's simply get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first we'll have to go and access or just go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow the tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case it could be any other browser that you could possibly have once you open that browser just go to the url section basically we'll have to open two things first of all it's going to be shopify.com and secondly we should go and open alibaba.com also so that should take you into the home screen or main screen of both apps so if you don't know nothing about shopify first of all you can scroll down read more information about us in the home screen frequently you find frequently asked questions people what's people saying about it just some insights to familiarize yourself with it and if you have an account, you can go to this top right corner and look, click on login to log into your account or click on start free trial to create your account and get three days of free trial on every store that you create. Your store will remain active for three days, then it will turn inactive. Uh, and of course, you can create endless amount of stores, but you can stop that by you can keep it active by going and get one of your plans that's provided here this monthly and this yearly with the features post the video and check it all by your own for me i'll just go here and click on login to login right into my account by the way this will access me to the dashboard of my shopify store so for alibaba of course we'll basically have to do the same so just go click on sign in at the top right corner sign in with whatever you want you can sign in normally or sign in with google apple or even facebook and etc for me just like click on sign in they sign me right into my account like shopify because i've signed in recently so i don't have to keep doing it over and over and yeah i guess uh, that's it so once you have your account in here of course you can click on your profile and uh, here and simply go to your account just set up your account if you still need to fill out any informations uh, other than that you'll be able even to start selling right now if you want to as an example click on start selling you will have to go and check some stuff that you want to if you want to of course start selling on uh, alibaba that's not what we care about now but of course if you want to you are uh, free to do it so this is the alibaba uh, selling center let's just close that so what you will need to do is simply go on alibaba and browse into the next product that you want as an example let's say i want this shoes to i want the shoes to sell it or to list it on my shopify store so i can simply go here and for you of course you can just browse through the alibaba ex uh, extensive products catalog select the product that you want to add to your shopify store considering factors like quality pricing and even supplier rating and before even listing products on your shopify store you will have to go to alibaba and contact the supplier so before listing products it's often good practice to contact suppliers directly uh, communicate with them to discuss pricing shipping options and any specific details about the product you're interested in as an example for this product if you go of course here you'll even see what people saying about us before even selecting the product that you want and as you can see here you'll find know the supplier so you'll find the supplier you can see more profiles about us or you can uh, you can see more products with this supplier or you can simply click on view profile and you'll be able to click on chat now and start chatting with this provider so as i said just go and discuss them with them the pricing that you want to first full list this product in your shopify store then you will have to discuss between you the pricing shipping options and any specific details about your interested in once you've gathered information from suppliers arrange the necessary product details such as titles descriptions and images and even prices to ensure that these details align with your branding and store style now you can simply go to your online store go to products and start listing a new product click on new products and start filling these informations that you gathered you will have of course to enter the details that you gathered from alibaba including the product title description images uh, price and a lot of other stuff 
You can even configure like the pricing for your products depending on whatever suits you and set up shipping details on Shopify and be transparent about any additional costs such as shipping fees or taxes to provide, to provide accurate information to your customers. Of course, make sure before even making the product live and saving it as an extra, just uh, test your product pages, ensure that all the images load correctly and the product details are accurately displayed, and these steps help prevent any issues once the products are live. Of course, you can check that as an example from this left panel, click on online store, and simply go and click on view your store in here and see if the product is there correctly as an example. So I have one product in here. So check if everything is working correctly and you will be now good to go. And once satisfied with the things that you did, just go back to your product, save the product, of course, monitor their uh, performance, gather customer feedbacks and optimize product listing based on the data you collected. And yeah, or did like fantastic, you finished that. So this is an example for one product. Of course, you can go and check other products as an example. You'll have to do the same. Let's say, for example, we like this product. So we'll have to do the same. We'll have to scroll down, find the supplier of this product. As an example, I guess it was the same as this one. I'm not very sure. No, it's not the same. So you'll have to go view profile and simply go and start chatting with them. It just uh, tell or discuss all the details that you need and you'll be good to go. And of course, once you click on chat now, as I said, just chat with him every details that you need. Go back to your Shopify, click on add the product, enter the details, test it how it's looking on your store and save it and you will be good to go. Of course, you can start even making some promotional uh, or some ads like, uh, I don't know, you can uh, use if you go here to your online store, go to preferences, you can use like Facebook pixels for that. You can even use Google Analytics to see how the your products and etc. about your store is doing. And yeah, you can even make now your store goes live. And of course, you will have to remove the password to do so. And if in if you want to do so, you will have if you want to remove the password, you will have to go and pick a plan. Because if you didn't pick a plan and choose a plan and start paying, you will not be able to remove the password. And the people who are gonna be able to access your password, just the people who have the password that you set up in right here. But of course, a lot of people if they find the password, they will not be happy customers and they will just run off your store. And yeah, I guess that's it. So for you already like fantastic, you've successfully learned how to list products from Alibaba to your Shopify store. So thank you for joining me here today. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to our channel for more helpful stories like this one. And I'll see you in the next video.